Hey, if you clicked on this video, then you are a HoneyBook user or you want to be a HoneyBook user, but you clicked on this video because you want to learn about how to automate your emails, your responses, your brochures. Like when somebody clicks on your website, they fill out your contact form. And when they hit send, right now HoneyBook is just showing you, hey, ding, you have an email from somebody and it will just show you what they wrote out. So you have to find time to go contact that person, send them the information. It's like you're still doing too much work. Time is money. So let's jump into the computer and show you exactly what I'm talking about. So this is what I'm talking about. Somebody goes to your website, they click the let's connect button or contact us. So we can't wait to chat with you. And they fill out this contact form, which we created in HoneyBook. And what's very important is right here. What type of project are you looking for? Okay. So look, when you click the pull down bar, all of your services that is listed is what you can automate individually. First, you need to set up your project types. When you're on your homepage of HoneyBook, top right, where your notification bell is for all your messages, you have your little avatar symbol right there. When you highlight it, you're gonna see my account, company settings, add a new company. Go to company settings, you're gonna come to preferences, and then right here, you're going to see lead sources, project details, project types. This is important. Stay organized by personalizing your project types to reflect the work you offer. Click edit. Go ahead and list all of your product types, whatever they are. Okay. See how I got food right here? All right. Project types. You entered it. You hit the save button. Now that's done. Let's go automate. So what I want to happen is when they click the food button, yes, HoneyBook is going to send me that notification of that email I just got, but it's also going to trip. It's going to start. It's going to kick off this little campaign of what I'm about to show you. Go to tools, go to templates, come down to emails. These are the emails I have listed. I wrote one for GK food email response. So I know what this is. You can create a new email, write your email, include your signature, and you want to do, name it, save it. Okay. Go back to templates. We're going to go to brochures because I want to send them a brochure as well. I like visual. I'm very visual. I like things very simple and clean. It's going to be beautiful. So here's my GK food inquiry brochure. So when you click on this, I set this up. It took me hours to find the right images, read it over and over again, make sure the lingo sounded good. And as if I was speaking to somebody on the phone, I want to read like I speak, if that makes any sense. And once you have everything done, okay, once everything is done and they hit, hold on, back up. So this is my brochure for my food inquiry people and creating your brochure is very easy. When you click the plus button, you're going to get some options. Just follow the options. Here's a whole section for just content that you are showing them. Here are questions that you can ask and how you can ask them and then services that you can display your services. Okay, we're going to delete that. So after you create your brochure, go ahead and name it like you want it, save it. And now we're going to go back to the home page because we got to go tools right here to the left under library, go automations. Now you have your email created. You have your brochure created down here. I have an automated section for GK food automation. And look at this right here, this little pull down bar. It's asking you, well, which product type do you want this campaign to start from? I want it to start from when they click food, when they say, hey, I'm interested in food photography. Bam, that's highlighted. When you click on anywhere on the GK Food Automation on the little bar, press the plus button. You say, I want to send an email. I want to create a task. I want to send a file, which is what we're doing. We're sending a brochure via email, which is what this is. Okay. So when you click on it, the action type, I'm going to send a brochure via email. Okay. Brochure template. 
will go find your template you did for your brochure. GK Food Inquiry, boom. Now it's going to send, well, via email. So which email? Go find it. GK Food email response. Boom. When are we going to send it? Immediately, which is defaulted to immediately. Zero days after it starts, immediately. Hit save and just make sure that you're, you're named. That is it, my friends. So remember, create your product types first before you try your automation or else it's not going to work. Then create your email for that type of project. Create a brochure for that type of project and then follow the steps I just showed you and you are fine. Every time somebody clicks on that food button, that system is activated. So if this video helped you at all, first things first, let me know in the comments. I'm always curious who is getting something out of these videos. And most importantly, if you want to use HoneyBook, you want to do the trial, see if it works for you. There's a link below. It is my affiliate link through HoneyBook. That's their way of knowing that I'm sending them referrals. And let me tell you something. I have used quite a few things for software for my business over the last 27 years. Uh, so far, HoneyBook has been the absolute best as far as real world, keeping in touch, keeping up, staying with the fast pace of what's happening because we're all digital now. We're all like this. We're all on our phones, just like you are. So... Treat your clients like they deserve to be treated immediately. <laughs> Go get that money. All right, you guys, see you in the next video. Subscribe if you haven't. Do what you do. Later.